Hello you gorgeous little donut. Today we're going to be looking at an influencer mum who is insane. Her name is Cassian and she's recently done this kind of mini documentary with a YouTube channel called Truly. And loads of people are freaking out over it so I just want to give my thoughts. Let's get into it. I think school's a prison. I pulled the girls out of school about four or five months ago now. So what's your favourite thing about not going to school? Wait, what? You think school's a prison? What do you mean? You're allowed to leave, you know? Like, you're not going there because you did something bad. What do you mean school's a prison? It's literally there to educate you. They literally are looking after your kids from 9 o'clock till 3 o'clock for free. Unless you're very rich and then decide to pay for school for some reason. What's your favourite thing about not going to school? It can't be just your phone. You're on a phone ban at the minute. I'm a millionaire businesswoman and I dropped out of school at 14. The people that judge me on my parenting, I don't really care. Does that give you any sort of weight in the argument to pull your kids out of school because you're a millionaire? That's great that you're a millionaire and especially if you're like a self-made millionaire, like that's really good, that's such an achievement. But maybe your kids don't want to also do what you do, you know? Like maybe there's something that you can't offer your kids. Maybe your kids want to be doctors or even just like a, a veterinarian. I don't know, just something that you would need school for, just a teacher. Oh, hello. My mom, she does not agree with it. What can school give them that I can't? Education. <laughs> Her mom's like, literally, education? What do you mean? That's the stupidest question ever. Like, I get this, okay, that you want to like take control and you want to steer your kids in like the right direction. And I will admit, in school, there's a lot of things you get taught which you probably don't need. But there's a lot of stuff in school, like, transferable skills that you learn and also sometimes school is used as a stepping stone to like sixth form which is a stepping stone to university where you can actually learn an actual skill that you can take into your life and you can make a career it just or it just gives you time to just decide what you want to do i feel strongly about this because i see so many like influencers on tiktok and everything talking about how schools are scam and how like they're trying to control you when in reality they're not it's just something you do it's not a scam you're not paying for it these people are educating you these people that are passionate about the subjects that they teach are trying to educate you. They're just people like everyone else. It's not a prison. Bug bunny. Right. Did she say Bugs Bunny? Bug and Bugs and Bunny. Sorry, it's the cast of the Looney Tunes living in this. What, what's going on? Bugs, Bunny, Daffy, Duck, come on. You've got toad in the hole, for Christ's sake, it's getting cold. Hi, I'm Cassian. I work in the health and aesthetic industry and also influencing on social media. So I've got two babies, Bug and Bunny, they're eight and nine, and then I have... I, I rate that though, Bug and Bunny. I love influencers, like, because they give their kids the best names. Like, isn't, like, Elon Musk's just, like, like a, I don't know, like, a, like isn't it, like, a X, Y, Z, N? I'm sure he wanted to, I can't remember, it's like, it's like a Wi-Fi password. It's like when Kim and Kanye called their daughter North. It's like, that's just great. That's just unbelievable. Like, Northwest, I get it. That's fantastic, that's hilarious. Making your kid have to say that and live with that name every single day of their lives because you think it's different is great. Love it. That's why I'm calling my kid if it's a boy Wolverine. Oh, because who's going to stop me? If it's a girl, I'm calling a Captain Marvel. Double barrel. And then I have a new one on the way who is called Johnny Blue. How's Johnny Blue. I like that too. That's great, right? Johnny Blue. No one else is going to be called Johnny Blue. That's going to stand out on the register. How Sorry, have they... Have they died, the the head of this dog? Like, is this fake tan? Is it like been rubbing against Cassianne when she's been sleeping? What is going on here? Why is, is this an actual breed of a dog? This looks like it's it's been bred specifically to be like a unique one of one. I can't even tell you the breed of this dog. It looks like four different breeds in one. Normally we'd get up and it'd be a rush all morning, trying to get him dressed and waking him up, going to school. We don't really have a hectic morning as such. That's convenient. I wonder who that's better for. Oh yeah, just, you know, school's a prison. Yeah, I just couldn't be asked to wake up anymore. I was honestly sick of it. On the school run, taking me kids to get educated. God, any more pointless tasks for the day? I believe a child learns more from freedom on the outside of school rather than sitting in a classroom for six to eight hours. No, that's completely correct. No, I agree with that. If you're going to give me the option of my child going into secondary school from like year seven till year 11 and learning all of those subjects that they're never going to need or scrolling on TikTok, where are they going to learn more? I want my kid to have an A star in Skibbity Toilet. I don't want him to have an A star in history. When's he going to use that? That's in the past. Look forward. Your future's there, not there. Your future's with the skibbities. They didn't have a say in what I was going to do with their future and their education. If they still want to go to school or university college, they can. No, they can't. What, what are they going to use the golden ticket from Willy Wonka? Oh, yeah, if they want to go to university, that's fine. They can do that later. They can't because they don't even... 
have the qualifications. People go to secondary school and sixth form and then still possibly don't get into university. How are they gonna get into u university? Because they've got an A star on skibbity. Because I just see this all the time on TikTok where people are, like pull their kids out of school without even consulting with them. Like not only, are they, let's just put education to the side. Like what about their friends, right? Like I, I feel like if I was getting pulled out of school and all my friends were going to school and they were forming like better connections with each other, like you're surely gonna lose that aspect of like getting to know new people. Like one of the craziest things as a child is going into secondary school when you're used to being like exposed to just people that are kind of in your little bubble. And then you've got loads of people. Like it's all these are like, Stuff that develop your character and like make you become the person you're gonna become. One thing I will say, like just from Cassian's uh, point of view, I don't know if Cassian is part of like uh, like traveler culture, but I know that's like a thing where uh, they take their kids out of school at a young age. I'm not too sure if they take them out at year six. I'm pretty sure it's a bit later than that usually, just from my experience with people I know. So I can see why if she's been kind of taught that way when she left school at 14, that's completely normal to her. But one thing that just opposes that is a mom. A mom was literally telling that, no, you're doing the wrong thing here. They can get educated at school. So it's clearly not been passed down from our mother. I miss my friends at school. So what's your favorite thing about not going to school? Can't be just your phone, because you're on a phone ban at the minute. Well, like, if, if one place sounds like a prison, you're on a phone ban at the minute. You've got community service at two. You're cleaning that bloody toilet. Got a vindaloo last night. It's not pretty, love, right? It's stinking the place out. Monday, the children have um, tutoring and education, and then every single day, set days that I do things. I work my own hours, and they kind of work around me. So when I'm not working, we have education. Bro, right. Sorry, right? I'm just going off what I'm hearing here. The original reason she pulled them out, she said earlier in the video, is because basically she didn't want to do the school run. They were waking up early. It was really stressful. Okay. Now, she's saying on Monday, they get tutoring, education, but the rest of the days, they basically work for her. Did you see the footage here? Days that I do things, I work. She's just passing stuff up to her. On hours. And they and she's carrying toilet paper and I don't know if this is like stuff for her job This is basically like you're not having to pay them either So you're using are you using your kids as like employees so you don't have to pay people to Just saying they'll do cooking they'll do cleaning and they'll learn about being domestic as well as an education at home See I actually think this is really good like for for girls and for boys It's like a young person to just learn how to cook learn how to like just clean like do just just an overall because obviously those are like life skills that you're going to need when you when you move into your own house right you can't have your parents doing it forever but you can do that outside of school right you don't need to stop school to learn that that can be done like an hour a day if you want or an hour a week like you've got years and years and years to learn this i don't feel like you need to be pulled out of school because of it the girl's dad is fine with my decision i think that pulling the girls out especially their background being travellers, they do come out of education early anyway. See, that's what I said earlier in the video. Like, I suspected it was something to do with, like, traveller culture because, like she says, they do get to go to school earlier. But I just find it interesting that you've went on a TV show and, like, told everybody this. So, clearly, I feel like you're well within your rights to be criticised for this or for people to have an opinion on this because you're putting it out there. It was going to happen within time. It was just the fact that I pulled them out earlier. See, that's what I said. I thought this. I thought I was right saying that. Normally, they come out a bit later. Like, they, they, they do go to secondary school, but they come out, like, maybe, I don't know, like, 13, 14. These kids are, like, 9 and 10. That's super, super early. I feel like that's too early in the development. What do you think? Let us know, because, obviously, I, I don't want to seem like... You know, I, I, this is literally just my opinion. I, I, I want to hear like everyone's kind of, so I can get like a broad perspective. I've saw some people's opinions really agreeing with that and some people really, really not agreeing with that. I like the girls to have nice things purely because one, I've got it myself and I know what it feels like to have nice things. And then two, if they've got it from young, they can't be bribed with when they're older or given gifts and feel like it's everything to them. I mean, okay, I kind of get your perspective, but also it also means that you know when they get with their partner, like how is that partner meant to impress them? Their standard for, for just like financial gifts, not talking about like emotional stuff, anything like that. Their financial gift standard is so high. How is a young person meant to keep up with that? Like if she's used to getting a thousand pound like Louis Vuitton bags for her birthday, when her boyfriend gets her like a Big Mac, is she going to be like, oh, f*** him. I'm not having this. A Big Mac? God, not even a double one or a Mac Tasty. You broke poor 
Jessica. I've had no GCSEs, but yet I've built very, very big successful businesses. And that's like unbelievable. That's such a major achievement that you've been able to do that. That's like such a cool thing. However, you don't need to put that onto your kids. Like maybe that's not the, the like, you, like for me, I just feel like I would want my kids to be able to choose their own path. You know, if they want to like follow in the footsteps of what I do, to be fair, I probably wouldn't want them to do YouTube. But anyway, I just believe they should at least be given the option of doing and choosing what they want to do rather than it being told like you have to go down this same path as me. Bug has started up Heatless Roller that's well curly online she sells them she does little bits here and there I'm very shut up isn't she like 10 or 9 can you imagine being on like deep up and you you try to whittle down like a like a 10 year old by like a quid for like some hair rollers my lord well so what happened to just letting kids be kids like i have this fear you know like with how social media like it, it at the minute like it it like forces you to believe that you need to be successful as like quickly as possible and have loads of money as young as possible because you see these people like doing so much so good and and and, and living like in like dubai and everything at your age and it makes you feel terrible about it you don't need to be like that it's fine to just go to school it's fine like i don't know why you want kids who are nine and ten to be like an adult straight away like there's time there's like they, they do that for the rest of their lives like just let them be kids god guys sorry I'm very passionate about this that's why i wanted to do this video i get my lashes done every few weeks i like getting my lashes done because it gets the vibe is that normal for a nine-year-old to get your lashes done? I'm, I'm not, I, I don't, I, I have no sisters. I have, I'm not too sure. But I feel like some adults won't even get it done that much. Like, isn't that quite expensive on like nail technicians, like 25 quid or something every time? Eyelash people, the eyelash people. What are we gonna do with them? The bloody eyelash people are at it again. People that judge me on my parenting, I don't really care. So if they've got something to say, I just take it with a pinch of salt. I mean, that is completely right. Like. You shouldn't care about people's opinions on how you raise your children. But if you're gonna do a TV show on it, you have to expect it. You're putting it out there, like you're making this your brand. Also, you're putting your children on TV when they're like nine and ten, which is still like that's what that's a whole other conversation. So you have to accept the criticism that comes. People like full grown adults comment on their appearance, what they're gonna be like when they're older, they call them names. I don't let them see nothing. Oh my Right, okay, this this one's like a layered one. The fact that people comment on little girls' appearance is like terrible. What are you doing with your life? Like, stop doing that. But as a parent, why would you even put your child in the, in the situation where they're going to be constantly exposed to people that they don't know? Why would you do that? When I have a child, I am never letting them be on social media until they're, you know, older. Or like it, on my social media. Do you know what? Like she's young enough to know how mean people are on the internet. Like why would you get? You're clearly getting comments yourself about like taking your kids out of school. You'll be getting a lot of hate. So why do you want to do a TV show to further put more hate onto your kid? I just find it a little bit odd. Also, when she's on about putting her kids in a bubble, like, I guess that is kind of good. Like, as I've never had a kid, but I imagine you want to protect them, like, so much because they're, like, a little you. But if you, how long are you going to keep them in a bubble for? Because they're going to eventually, somebody's going to say something to them or show them a comment about themselves. And that's going to hit so much harder when they're used to being in a bubble and they read that for the first time. Go and get Uncle Sashi drink and or me. And then you can go upstairs and play. <laughs> She just treats the man. Go and get him a drink, right? And then after that, right, your jobs are over. You can go and play. But then I want you to back down to clean the glass. Okay? They're employees. I'm telling you. She just gets them to do all the stuff she doesn't want to do. Life is about learning the negative things. For children, it's important these days, I think, to learn certain skills you cannot give them at home. Exactly. Thank you. The first person in this video that just speaks a little bit of sense. She's exactly right. Like, you know, unfortunately, kids do have to learn, like, bad things that happen as well. So then they can be, they can protect themselves from the things that happen. Like, you want kids to learn, like, safeguarding things, like, at school that, so they do, can avoid stuff in the future. Otherwise, they're going to be naive. Like, the first time a weird person messages them, they're not going to know what to do because they've never been, like, you know, taught like of oh, this this is kind of just ignore this i believe taking them out of school because of your beliefs is right but the timing is wrong i believe they are too young to be taken out now that's what i said like i said you know like you know respecting the culture she she grew up in fair play taking your kids out when you want to take them out but i also agree it's just too young 
Like nine and ten. She even admitted herself that's that's younger than what other people take their kids out. That's the thing that I'm kind of disputing here. Taking them out before, you know, GCSEs, whatever you want to do. But this is just too young. Am I being too harsh in this video? You'd tell us, wouldn't you? She's being told you're not good at maths, so you need to do more maths. Why? If she's not good at it, okay, she's not good at yeah, it. No, but this day and age, you've on. got calculators. That is true, okay, if you're going to the shop and you need to calculate something. Fair play, right? You've got a calculator. But it's not just about that. It's about just learning transferable skills. Like, maths also has a lot of, like, problem solving. That's a skill that you can't, like, just really learn. I feel like she's kind of, like, thinking of, like, Pythagoras as, like, face value and everything like that. And, like, tan cos and sin whatever it is just stuff that you really don't use but there is a lot that you do use the thing i wish i'd done before was leave school earlier at the time it wasn't out of choice i wish it was out of choice honestly mate right i just wish i could have got out of school earlier so i could have grew this quiff longer i would have had the longest quiff in essex if they just let me leave two years earlier i would have been able to condition it twice a day you got privately educated with beauty and stuff everything was privately done yeah. but you were in education the same goes with see that's another thing that she left out it's like oh i left 14 no gcses no money built this it's like yeah but your mom's just said that you, you were getting educated privately educated you weren't going to like college where everyone learns in the same classroom you're probably getting like one-to-one -one, you know privately paid training so you've got a head start on other people so that just makes me think like your ideology against school isn't is kind of even more flawed now in my opinion do i ever see johnny going to university absolutely not if he wanted to he could but what's wrong with that but i'm not saying nothing's wrong with it but i'd rather him go down his own path but then you've seen you'd rather him go down his own path but he won't go to university so what happens if that is his own path? you see you're not like letting him have his own path you're directing his path but just pretending that this is what he wants the guys the baby's not even born yet! And you're like, yeah, he's not going to UD. You can argue whether university is actually, like, you know, great for what you want to do. But you should at least, when you're born, you know, have that to aspire to if that's what you want to do. Children are going to have a lovely life and do whatever they want, have whatever they want. To trolls that have a lot to say, stop scrolling through social media and having something to say about a woman that's pregnant, that's got two children, that is just trying to better their life. I actually think she's probably a really good mom in terms of like how much she loves her children. I imagine she really does. Like she gives me the vibe that she would be a really caring mom. But again, when she's like, oh, you, you can't say anything about this. It's like, yes, people can because you're doing a TV show. You're getting paid thousands of pounds to put your story people have a right to say something that's what comes with getting that large paycheck i learned cooking cleaning and still went to school these poor girls exactly how would she even think they could go to university when they won't be qualified because they don't go to school now am i missing something you know i just hope that the the girls are happy as long as they're happy that is the main thing but i just don't feel like you should put this on the internet and then kind of complain when people complain because i will admit this is a little bit outrageous. Okay, Donuts, I feel like this was more of like a kind of like serious kind of opinion video. I just wanted to do it because I kind of feel strongly about it because I see so much on social media of this opinion and I feel like you never hear the opinion of like actually school's okay and you don't need to be a millionaire at like 12. It's okay to just live a normal life like everyone else. Anyway, Donuts, if you want to watch another video from me, click this video right here because it'll entertain you and why don't you just go on a little binge? Enjoy yourself. Cam Kirkham, baby! <laughs>